Good afternoon guys. I uh, figured what we'd do on camera. I haven't seen this really. Probably haven't looked is probably the reason why, but we'll make some uh, board stretches up for uh, putting up fur. Uh, we did get a raccoon this morning, so uh, get him skinned up, get him uh, fleshed and on a stretcher. Uh, I prefer wooden stretches myself. Uh, Natha, if you're selling fur, you know, to make money and stuff like that, uh, they don't recommend the wooden ones simply because usually in the nose area, and I'll get you guys a close up of that once I start drawing it out. Uh, usually isn't perfect uh, it's hard to keep that symmetrical using wood uh, especially if you're making them yourself so uh, they prefer the wire stretches uh, my only downfall with the wire stretches is that they're a certain size so if you get a bigger fur I mean you can add you know wood tails to them or wooden skirts to the wire stretches uh, that's a technique but you know, I figured make one board stretcher and be done with it. But uh, the wire ones, you know, again, one size. Uh, you could be too short, you could be too long. Uh, if you make a long enough board, I like them again because I can pin out the fur to it. And uh, it doesn't matter how long, as long as my board's long enough. Uh, any size, you know, in between there will work uh, with the pins, of course. So, uh, we're going to cut some of these up. Uh, I'm cutting a few up right now for Raccoon, seeing that's what we got this morning. Uh, the measurements right off of the NAFA website for that, they recommend a board between 48 and 50 inches long, and that's so you can get the tail and everything in there. Uh, the width, they recommend no smaller than 7 inches wide and no bigger than 8.5. So uh, I've got a bunch of one by eight pieces of pine that I just bought from the Home Depot or whatever, uh, and they measure actually seven and a quarter. So we're gonna cut these to about 48, 50 inches long. We'll get the nose cut out on the top, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my router to router all these edges round, give them a quick sanding, and uh, we should be good to start putting fur up. So uh, let me readjust the camera, we'll get these laid out, and uh, make some up. Alright, so we got one sketched out here, uh, the nose of it. I'm going to go ahead and make one, get it fairly good. Uh, it's all by eye, so uh, I don't have a pattern to go by. So uh, we'll get one of these good, you know, touch it up or whatever. And I'm going to cut it to length after I get that figured out. And uh, just use that one as a pattern for the rest of them. Alright, <clears throat> so that's what I got for the first one. Now, like I said, I'm going to router all these edges all the way around, all four sides, make them nice and round. Hit them up with some sandpaper. So this one's looking pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and measure it to length and uh, cut it out and we can start tracing a couple more. Cut them at 50 inches. Well, wait a minute. Well, 22 inches. I can go ahead and make something else out of the scrap. Maybe some bird houses or actually some mink boxes, something like that. I know someone's going to give me the devil for not wearing safety glasses, but. 38 years old, been doing it since high school, so 15, 16 years old, and never had an issue, so I'll take my chances. So I'm going to go ahead and trace out one more of these for now. I don't think I'll have uh, 
too many raccoons all at one time. If that changes, I can always trace out some wool later and fix that. Two other pieces of 1x8 here after I cut this one. A piece of 1x10, which measures 9 and a quarter, 9 and a half. So uh, I'll have two raccoon stretches. I'm going to save these other two uh, for something else if I need it. So like I said, I'll hook up the router, go ahead and round these edges, and I'll just need a touching up with a piece of sandpaper and I'll be good to go. Stretcher. All I gotta do is router out that other one and we'll be ready for some sandpaper. Alright guys, all cut out. Hit them up real quick, some sandpaper. Feels good, not building curio cabinets, you know. So here's uh, one board all done. The old coon stretcher. One more to go. Let's get this uh, get this guy skin out, flushed, and get him on a stretcher. Hopefully, I have some more tomorrow. So I appreciate you guys joining me for this quick video. Uh, simple stuff, you know, if you have the right wood tools. Uh, like I said, I happen to be a carpenter by trade for many years, so I got a bunch of stuff. And uh, it's fun to do, little project. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your views, comments, and support as always. And uh, until the next one, take care.